Good morning. Welcome to Rosenberg. I announced a review of the Yak 55 foam plane by H King um, a while back, and then I had some problems with a burnt out motor. Anyway, it's here and it's working now. Um, and it's funny because it does everything you would expect a plane like this to do, um, it does everything I need it to do, and still I'm disappointed. I'll explain while we go flying. So mine is set up with a Turnigy AeroDrive 1100 kV motor and I've got, I went for the cheap version, uh, Turnigy Plush in there, uh, simple Metal Gear servos and an 11 by 4.7 prop. Looks a bit like faces of that but that doesn't matter. Alright and as you can already see the wheels fell out. That doesn't matter, it's a shocky. So there we go. So yeah, it flies, it flies well. And I bought this because I wanted to practice my rolling harriers a bit closer to the ground. Um, I wanted to learn how to torque roll and I want to improve my inverted harriers, right? All 3D maneuvers and I can do all of them a bit but then, you know, I don't want to risk my big planes yet doing them close to the ground so then what do you do? You get a foamy to do just the same thing, right? So, as you can see, flies just like a foamy bit of wing rock in the Harrier, but that's okay. See, so I wouldn't risk Rolling, I wouldn't risk rolling Harriers this low with a big plane yet, but with something like this, you can just train your thumbs, you know? And if it hits the ground, hey, it'll hit the ground. It, it feels like it's really durable. I haven't really crashed it yet, but it really feels durable. So um, I think it can handle a good crash, you know, sometimes we need, without even needing glue, so which is cool. With this setup, it's not extremely fast, which is good, and it has more than enough pull out. <whistles> Flying around like an idiot because I'm thinking of what I have to say about this plane. So it's easy to control, and it's really easy to keep it in a good in a good hover or in a good knife edge. Uh, you have to battle the wind a little bit. But overall, you know, for a shock flyer, this is exactly exactly what you'd expect from a shock flyer, right? And now you'll ask, so why are you disappointed then? Well, this, the marketing. The marketing is just off on this thing because the guy who created this, Michael Wargo, talks about it and he says, well, I wanted to create a foam plane that flies, you know, as close to a balsa plane as you can imagine. Um, and that's exactly what we did. And, you know, to be honest, it's, it's just not true, you know. It's just a claim that isn't true. It flies just like foamy. And it's a bit bigger, has a bit more weight. So you, it, can, it can probably handle just a bit more uh, wind, but that's about it, you know. It still feels and flies like a shock flyer, you know. If you're going to say something, it's a good shock flyer. It really is. It really is a good shock flyer, but still I'm disappointed because it does exactly what I wanted, you know, like I explained. But then, you know, they promised me a foam plane that flies just like a balsa plane. And it's not. It's not. It's really not. Also, 
they mention that it does all 3D maneuvers. Well, that's not true either, because it's a foam plane. It has no inertia. It has no, not enough weight to have proper inertia. So yes, it does all the, all the slow 3D. It does all the Harriers, all the, um, uh, the, the, the hover, Harrier rolls, all that kind of stuff. And you can actually roll it quite gently as well. But the more high yield stuff like the, um, like, uh, the, the, the crankshaft and the, um, you know, real good knife edge spins and pop tops, that's just not going to happen. You know, it does do a bit of a of a knife edge spin. Getting it really tight is uh, just difficult. But if you want to practice the elevator, you know, so coming in from high in Harrier and letting it come down and then come just in front of you and do a bit of a hover, no problem, you know, no problem, awesome. Awesome trainer plane. So, so if you're you know into learning 3D, perfect plane for you. Um, if you have specific goals that require a plane, uh, a foam plane that's good in low speed 3D, this is a good plane for you. But just do know that it is. Well, I would only. I would almost say it's just another foam plane. It's a good one, and it has some wing profile. You know, it's 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 a really good plane. But you know, in today's market, as with anything, I'm not even talking about model airplanes right now. You know, as a consumer, I like to get at least what I expected, and maybe even more. You know, and and as a company, you really want to try to exceed expectations and you know because of the way they've been talking about this it doesn't even meet expectations which is a shame because you know just explain the plane like it is and like it flies you know it would be good all right so that's it cool plane <laughs> it's cool plane it does a trick so um, if you're interested in getting one do so there's no reason to do so to, to not do so um, just don't believe everything people say all right see you next time bye bye